In with breaking news in Missouri City, police are looking for a suspect involved in a deadly shooting in a Siena Plantation neighborhood. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Sirota. And I'm Lisa Hernandez. Police say one person was shot and killed on Amethyst Isle Lane about a mile from Ridgepoint High School. Investigators have identified Matthew Rashawn Jacobs as the suspect in this shooting. Channel 2's Taisha Walker is live in that neighborhood with the latest for us. Taisha? Lisa, that deadly shooting happened in the cul-de-sac right behind me with the victim ending up trying to drive away to some safety and ended up going through that neighbor's fence. Uh, the car, you can't see it, but we're told that the victim and his body is still inside of the vehicle at this point. Uh, Fort Bend County deputies right now are asking for the public's help in locating the shooting suspect. We have a photo. Deputies have identified this man that you're about to see on your screen as the alleged shooter as Matthew Rashawn Jacobs. We're told that he is in his mid-30s and was last seen on near neighborhood surveillance camera this morning driving a four-door grayish or black Audi. The license plate number on that vehicle, MPJ4907. We also have a bird's eye view of the Siena Plantation neighborhood from Sky 2, where deputies tell us that around 8.30 this morning, Jacobs was spotted on camera following behind his ex-wife and her boyfriend's car right as they pulled up to their home. Deputies say there was an altercation. Jacobs got out of his car and fired his gun toward their vehicle. Deputies say the ex-wife got out of the car in time and was not hurt, but the suspect walked up to the car and fired multiple shots, wounding the boyfriend who tried to then drive off but ended up crashing into a nearby fence where he died inside of the vehicle. Deputy St. Jacobs uh, then walked away and drove off. And right now, Sheriff Troy Nels here in Fort Bend County asking for the public's help to safely find Jacobs and let uh, deputies bring him into custody. Take a look. I think yeah, that you, the media, and your listeners can help, your viewers. They can help us locate this individual. And again, do not try to, to apprehend him in any form or fashion. If you see that vehicle traveling around these county roadways, call us. Call 911 if you have to. And uh, Ch Ch uh, Sheriff Troy Nels also tells us that Jacobs, in addition to his ex-wife, also lives in this area. They're, of course, checking his home, but they're asking if you see him to call 911 or to call the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office. They say do not approach him. They consider him to be armed and dangerous at this point. That's the latest from Siena Plantation. Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Taisha, thank you. Channel 2 News begins right now with breaking news. That breaking news coming from the Siena community in Fort Bend County just minutes ago, investigators announced that the man wanted for fatally shooting the new boyfriend of his ex-wife has turned himself in. That shooting happening outside of a home on Amethyst Isle near Siena Parkway about a mile from Ridgepoint High School. Channel 2's Taisha Walker live on the scene for us where Sheriff Troy Nels just provided new information about this suspect's surrender. Taisha. Andy, that news coming from the sheriff within the last 15 minutes, he tells us that the man that they have been looking for for the last several hours is now in custody. We have a photo of the suspect who is now in the custody of Missouri City Police. This man, Matthew Rashawn Jacobs, in his 30s, we're told by Sheriff Troy Nels, turned himself into Missouri City Police within the last hour. Per the advice of his attorney, deputies say the next step, he'll be charged with murder. Deputies say around 8.30 this morning um, that the suspect was spotted on surveillance camera in the neighborhood trailing his ex-wife and her boyfriend as they drove up to their Siena home. Deputies say there was an altercation. Jacobs got out of his car and fired his gun toward the couple's car. We're told that his ex-wife was able to get out of the car in time, but the suspect walked up to the car and fired more shots, injuring the woman's boyfriend. The boyfriend tried to drive off, but ended up losing control of his vehicle and crashed into a fence where he died inside of his car. Deputies say Jacobs then drove off and that manhunt for him ensued for several hours. We spoke with a neighbor who tells us he heard the shots and originally thought it was construction. I hear two shots simultaneously, and then I hear a scream, but it also kind of sounded like an engine screeching. Um, about 30 seconds or so, not even 30, probably like 15 seconds pass by, and then I hear either three or four more shots followed by another scream. 
And again, Jacobs, the man that Fort Bend County deputies have been looking for in connection to this fatal murder, um, this fatal shooting, is now in custody in Missouri City. Sheriff Troy Nell is telling us the next step is to bring him back to Fort Bend County. Reporting live in Siena, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Taisha, thank you. Bourbon cul-de-sac surrounded by crime scene tape after yet another domestic violence murder. Tonight, we're learning new details about a man killed outside of a home in Siena. Investigators say the suspect shot and killed his ex-wife's boyfriend just after 8.30 this morning, right outside a home off of Amethyst Isle Lane. That's where Channel 2's Taisha Walker is live with the newest information tonight. Taisha? Dominique, now that this cul-de-sac is open without crime scene tape, I wanted to give you a lay of the land. So the shooting happened near this home. This is where the couple pulled up when deputies say the ex-husband was outside of the home waiting. We know that some shell casings were removed from this area and we're told that the boyfriend who was driving and behind the wheel lost control of the vehicle. You could see some of the skid marks and went straight through that fence. And that is where he ended up losing his life. We spoke with two of his friends who say it's it's hard to believe that he went out of the world like this. Martez Hurt has been identified by Fort Bend County deputies as the man who was gunned down this morning by his girlfriend's ex-husband. This is all a surprise. This is a, a deep, um, this, is, this, one, this one is going to hurt a lot of people. Friend Ronald Vaughn says Hurt and his girlfriend were at his house early this morning. The couple left and drove to her Siena home around 8.30. Deputies say her ex-husband, Matthew Rashawn Jacobs, was waiting on them. The girlfriend got out of the SUV right before Jacobs shot into it, according to deputies. Hurt lost control and drove into a neighbor's backyard where he died. Neighbors recalled seeing Jacobs walk calmly to his car with a gun in hand. After a three-hour manhunt, Jacobs turned himself in. We need to find out, you know, why uh, would you commit such a horrible, violent crime here? Um, at 8.30 in the morning. Friends say the music artist, father and aspiring lawyer had shared stories about Jacobs before, like a fist fight the two had a couple months ago. My ex-husband was waiting inside of the vehicle uh, with a gun. Vaughn says Hurt believed Jacobs was stalking his ex. I think the, the ex-husband put a, a tracking device on her car or either her phone, so he would pull up sometimes when they would be chilling at night and like, send pictures of her vehicle parked outside. He says he told Hurt to leave the relationship before, but never imagined it would end with Hurt dead. And right now, Jacobs is sitting in Fort Bend County Jail facing murder charges. Reporting live in Siena in Fort Bend County, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Taisha, thank you. Meanwhile, in Siena, police there are trying to figure out why a man shot and killed his ex's new boyfriend. Matthew Jacobs turned himself in to police this morning. Yeah, but what a frightening morning it was. That shooting happening, happening on Amethyst Lane near Texas Rose Drive around 845 in the morning as people were headed to work. Our Nick Notario has been at the scene since this morning and he is live with what we have learned. Nick? Well, we just got some new information in from the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office. Deputies now say the suspect was actually waiting here in the neighborhood for his ex-wife and boyfriend to return right back over in that area. Now, when they did come back, they say the suspect opened fire, causing the boyfriend to lose control of the vehicle and crash into the fence right over there. We also just learned the victim, his name is Martez Hurt. Deputies say the suspect, Matthew Rashawn Jacobs, faces a murder charge. The sheriff's office spent about eight hours today investigating the scene. This morning around 845, they say Jacobs targeted his ex-wife and her boyfriend. After opening fire, the ex-wife was able to get away. Martez tried to escape, but deputies say cameras captured the chilling image of what happened. He ended up cutting the corner here in this cul-de-sac and driving through uh, this fenced-in area, at which time you can see the suspect or the ex-husband approach the vehicle and fire several rounds into the driver's side window. You could see the damage caused by the gunfire just moments ago when the victim's vehicle was removed from a neighbor's backyard. There was extensive damage to the driver's side and front window. Jacobs turned himself in to Missouri City Police this morning. He was transferred to the Fort Bend County Jail 
where he faces a murder charge. Now, deputies say this was a domestic dispute during the pandemic. Local Fort Bend County leaders say they've seen a large increase in domestic related calls and violence. So coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, we're going to break down the numbers for you to show them just how high they are and also they tell you what new things are being done to help victims during the pandemic. Live in Siena, Nick Natario, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Nick, thanks. We're also learning more about the man who died in all of this. Friends tell us his name was Martez Hurt. Reporter Maya Shea now joining us with more on who he was. Maya? Yeah, when Martez Hurt left his best friend's home earlier this morning, his best friend said, hey, I'm going to see you maybe just later on today. But now he is devastated by the loss of his good friend right behind me. Now, Martez Hurt is a young man who grew up in the Washington, D.C. area. He met some friends from Houston when he went to college in Florida. They convinced him to move down to the Lone Star State for opportunities, and he became an entrepreneur and a spare aspiring rapper. Friends tell us he began dating uh, this woman about a year ago and has had ongoing issues with the woman's ex-husband. And that is what happened today. They say they are just devastated and heartbroken. This one is going to hurt a lot of people. This is going to hurt a lot of people. This was a well-known individual. And I had the pleasure, I had the pleasure of knowing him. For, for a lot of years. Yeah, his best friends say that they were doing a lot of work on music videos together and they were hoping that the best days of their lives were ahead of them. Today, they are making plans for a funeral. Our community has been hit hard by a recent string of deadly acts being tied to domestic violence. The most recent in Siena, Fort Bend County. A man shot and killed, investigators say, by his girlfriend's ex-husband. Channel 2's Taisha Walker live in that neighborhood tonight. Taisha, you have learned that there were domestic violence calls to deputies involving this couple before. Is that right? That is correct, Dominique, and I'll get to that in a second. But the family of the man who was murdered in the Siena neighborhood just yesterday by his girlfriend's ex-husband say they recently warned him to end that relationship. Now that family is currently en route from the West Coast, from the East Coast, from Washington, D.C. to Texas to take his body back home. I can't believe it. Marlene Hurt Ecom says she hasn't slept in the last 24 hours. What was he thinking? You know, at that moment when he got the first bullet. Her 28-year-old nephew, Martez Hurt, was gunned down in his car Monday morning outside of his girlfriend's Sienna home by her ex-husband. 32-year-old Matthew Jacobs has been charged with Hurt's murder. This past March, Fort Bend County deputies received three domestic violence calls concerning Jacobs and his ex-wife. When he told me that the guy followed him to his house, he said, I'm on it. He know where I live at. I said, Montez, you need to leave the girl alone. Hurt Ecom says her nephew promised her last week that he would leave. Tragically, it wasn't soon enough. He posted on social media yesterday morning, quote, you deserve all good things life has to offer. Less than an hour later, he was dead. It is dangerous when you leave. You're right to be scared, but we are here to help. The Fort Bend Women's Center is the only domestic violence resource in the county. They've helped nearly 700 survivors year to date. Once the stay at home order was lifted, Survivors were able to get more access to phones where they could talk privately and were able to call for help. In Harris County, domestic violence related deaths are up. There have been 24 deaths compared to 17 in 2019. He owe us that. Hurt Ecom says she's traveling to Texas to bring her nephew's body back to his native D.C. If she could speak to Jacobs, she says she would ask why. He owe us an explanation. You can go out there and walk to his car, shoot him up like that. Hertz family has started a GoFundMe account to assist with funeral arrangements. It has already been widely shared here in Siena. If you would like to help, we'll include that link on our website, as well as resources for domestic violence survivors. Reporting live in Siena and Fort Bend County, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.